people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principal i'm your host shaheen uh, i've seen uh, quite a bit of good response from uh, footsie video uh, there is some debate going on a bit of we'll discuss more about footsie there's also a request about uh, nifty 50 i think so i'll try to cover that on the weekend uh, i'll try my best to bring that uh, i had already some research done in footsie as well but i'll say i'll see if i can do a uh, analysis of footsie uh, i mean for nifty uh, which is uh, an index for India, but we'll, we'll see for that man. In today's video, we are going to look at gold and silver. Uh, I've already requested you guys, if you guys want a uh, midweek analysis like today's, uh, you can come join me on my Patreon. In that way, uh, I'll get some support from you guys and then you'll be getting an update. Because uh, there happens when you look at a uh, pattern, it turns out to be a different pattern. I have to fix that into uh, bringing it what else is uh, possible. And today is an example of that. Uh, I gave an update with you guys that I was looking for uh, gold and silver to go down from right over here, top. And we have seen gold go down uh, right from this top, which is 1860 to 1835. And right now it's jumping up. But there's an important pattern that I'm seeing in silver. Uh, there is a possibility. And for that, there is a possibility that I have to uh, redo the analysis. First of all, let's have a look at, at silver analysis. There is some... Uh, first of all, the structure, the first thing that I noted was the structure. This is an hourly time frame. Uh, the structure is, uh, I looked at this structure and I love the sound of it. You can either start right from over here or over here. In both cases, we can consider A, B and C or this one as a single A, B, C and A, B and C. Both can be possible. Now, if you look at it, this is a uh, a B C pattern starting from over the year and then we have a one two three four and five which is a very very um, strong pattern I have analyzed it, this pattern quite a many times and if this is the case that starting from over here or over here we can consider this as three wave structure a three wave structure and a five wave structure in that case you guys have guessed it right that we are heading upward I was so focused on the pattern that didn't realize uh, that there was also a head and shoulder pattern coming back. Let me bring that on a four hour time frame. We'll definitely correct that. We have two important support zones area right over here. Uh, for prices to come down, there is a support zone. And, and it, for the trend to go down, there is a resistance. The initial resistance is right over here too. The double bottom. And this one which was recently created. So right now, if prices went up and formed just above this one and f uh, sat on this particular uh, support right over here, this is an indication in, the, in addition to what we are noting on a pattern this is an indication that there is a possibility that we have already created a bottom in silver so we'll keep a close eye how the price is gonna uh, behave but right now i have uh, a position open in gold and i close that position and on a smaller time frame uh, this behavior of prices going up and retesting the previous support and the structure starting from over here or over here is uh, giving me an indication that we are probably going upward in that case we can do is uh, we can consider once again there is no fight on it we can consider this one as a leading diagonal wave one which is the strongest and two and three and four and five we can consider it as a leading diagonal And we can discuss whether it finishes, uh, we can use this one over here. If you use this one over here, it's better to, I think, use this correction. So uh, I'm right now considering this price movement starting from this one over here all the way over here as a leading diagonal. And I'm considering this whole price movement as wave A. And this as wave B. Let me delete that quickly so that we can bring that back again. So this as wave A and this as wave B and this as wave C now you guys are looking at it something there is a possibility we have seen uh, prices gone up and come back strongly if the new low gets created I'm going to consider this as an A B and C and this as a fifth wave of the uh, five wave structure so I'm point of the view that because we have seen prices going up and coming down and the support is coming handy we're kind of seeing a good structure forming as well so I'm gonna use that as a corrective structure and my more focus 
is going to be right now upside uh, I need to change that from intermediate to minuet right over here too so what is uh, the next thing that I'm looking for uh, the next thing I'm looking for in silver is to go up in this range create uh, a top somewhere around 22 to 80 ish area uh, we can take advantage of this trend and then we'll see what happens after that but right now my previous analysis which was saying you're going all the way further down from the top over here it has come up uh, a conclusion because the prices are not acting the way we, we thought they would so this is an update on silver I'm I'm gonna take a long position I'm gonna wait for uh, prices to move a little up and then I'm gonna take a long position it will be better if we can take a long position after we have come out of this uh, 2198 97 area in that case there will be still uh, some price movement left if you guys want to do that is up to you guys let's have a look at the price of gold and if you look at the price of gold once again uh, we can consider right now is that we have a B and C structure we can consider this as an X another a B and C structure we are finding kind of support in this area uh, right over here too so let me delete all that and uh, on a 30 minute chart let me see first of all let me delete this ABC get rid of that and we can definitely use this as wave 1 and this as wave 2 and we have wave 3 ending right over here and we have wave 4 ending right over here and this is an extended 1 2 3 4 and five waves so a b and c correction as wave four and then we can consider this as wave five ending right over here too we can definitely delete that because this is not working as we thought and we can see right now that the prices have come up so we can use the and we can see right now that we are kind of seeing is that around 38.538 percent we are kind of finding a support right over here uh, what is going to confirm our our outlook that we there is a potential that we are gonna we have seen a bottom forming of the confirm in that case we can definitely definitely bring because there is a possibility if you if you look at this possibility you can use this as or this is a b and c we can use this top once prices cross beyond that one so we can use this as a possibility of confirmation when prices go above that let's have a look and see if we can actually are finding resistance in this area so this is also coming in a very nice target area we can see that this is a W and X and a Y so we can definitely use this right over here to a B and C we can definitely bring that up to date let me close that <coughs> pardon me in that case if we have created something like this a 5 wave structure and this is a correction stage right over here in that case we can consider this as a major bottom forming in gold so this is very very important uh, for gold next uh, three two three days should be important give us indication whether we have created a bottom right over here too so I wanted to update you guys and wish you good luck with your trading if you can comment and uh, push that thumbs up button uh, that will be appreciable have a good one and good one